What's up, y'all? It's Dubby, and I'm back with a special that's pretty much going to be salary cap gameplay from here on out for the year. All the other modes are over. It's all about salary cap. Getting ready for the Ultimate League, and here I'm playing Joel. We played three games. This is the first of three games he wanted to play. This was just an early morning stream. Hit me up, said let's play a couple money games, and this is the first one we played. This is probably two weeks after I lost the Joel and the Man Challenge, so you know I'm ready to play on this mode. Well, you can't run the ball as well. And, you know, let's see what he got, what he's going to do against me in salary cap. And we start with Earl Thomas, one of my favorite players in the game. Makes a big play on the kick return, but Bo Jackson tackles me. Bo Jackson's the best player on the game. He really starts with a little cover one. He ran this a lot in the man challenge. He tried to run it on me. I did well versus it in the man challenge. So cover one, I, I was prepared for that. And here we go with my favorite running back. Y'all know Mo Money Mohammed. And here we're inside the five, and he's in dollars still. I'm in a two tight end set, and I know huddle trying to get pancakes. Some run plays I get pancakes, some plays I don't. I really don't know the science behind it, but my whole philosophy, and I actually did the same. That they would get pancakes, but the corner blocks me out there, you know. So I don't know how we're pancaking everybody. I have ten linemen in the back of the end zone. I really just don't understand the dynamic of the weak box. And I actually did the same thing versus him in the Madden Challenge on my first drive. Is no huddle, two tight end sets against Dollar. And for some reason, his corner keeps coming off the edge unblocked and tackling me. That's saving him right there. First play, get a lot of pressure on him. He throws the ball away. Second play, gives it to Bo. Jukes clowning right away, but I have a Bo Jackson unfakeable. He won't fall for that great tackle by him. Love those unfakeable items. You can put them all over the field. Make sure you don't get juked all over the place. A lot more pressure we got here. You know, salary cap, you don't have, this is not much. You don't have an offensive line. That's worth a lot, you know, so you got to deal with what you got, you know, so both and Clown, you're going to eat, you know, so if you put money in your D-line, they're going to eat in salary cap, and you have to pick and choose where you put your cap, and obviously this game, Joel does not have any on the offensive line, and it shows, so early he gets to a fourth and 11 on his first possession, he goes four verticals, and like I said, Landon Collins gets there, takes him down, get a ball back to my man Mo Money Mohammed, a couple yards right there. And we try to kick off with Vic right here. He does a good job tackling me. So I get a third and five. This is a big play in the game. And you know I go to the money, man. Mo money, Mohammed. Huge catch right there on four people. My my 58 overall running back. And here we go again. Trying to run the ball in on dollar inside the five-yard line. I want to stay committed to it because it should work. And here we go. We punch it in with Le'Veon Bell. Take a 10 nothing lead. That's huge. Two possessions. Here you go. He's trying to get Bo involved. If you fear Bo Jackson and Mutt, he's the best player. So... Got to make sure he doesn't get the ball. Once we here we go again. He doesn't block anybody. Bosa gets that one-on-one -on -one and eats. Hits a little drag underneath. That's okay. You know, we get him to a third and, third and manageable here. Once again, you see Bosa and Clowney just right after the quarterback. He goes for this fourth down. I only rush four. He goes with a little playmaker action. But once again, who is that? Leonard Williams, I think, actually got to the quarterback there. So we're really getting a lot of pressure on Joel. See there, more money, Mohammed. Sometimes you got to get down. Not take those big hits, man. We go get he blitzes everybody. Gets me with Vic there. So he, then the next play goes back, plays a lot of coverage. Good play by him. I tried to throw this down, but I do it regular and it got picked off. But we were able to tackle him at the two yard line. So here he comes out. He tries to run a base. We hit stick him with Jayon Brown. He no huddles. So you know he no huddled a lot in this game. You know, a lot of people when they're down, sometimes they no huddle. The faster you move in your mind, the you know, the less you're thinking, you know, no huddle. People do it out of rage and stuff like that, you know, so it just shows that they're frustrated and they want to get going. So here we go. I got my linebacker up. Hopefully, try to guard a dive. I'm worried about toss in this formation too, but hopefully if he dives, my linebacker's back far enough. Once again, we got a lot of pressure. He throws a drag. Boom. Hit stick. Drops it. So at third and 10, here he goes again. I only rush four. Throws in the flat. Here we go with these unfakeable Bo Jackson. Will not fall on that spin move. Gets him to a fourth down. He no huddles again. So here you are in the fourth down where you know a drag might get you the first down. But, you know, you don't want to over gamble. You're still up 10 points. You know, stop here is a big deal, but you don't want to give up a big play. Keep making them work. Only rush three here. And here we go. Bosa again. So how many sacks is that already? Probably four or five sacks in the first half. Really eating on his, his you know, lackluster offensive line. And here we go. Go ahead, take off with Vic. He's the most electrifying player. To have at the quarterback position, and that's why I have him. He's really starting to bring the pressure because he gets to the quarterbacks there. We don't get a block. He's calling time out to try to get the ball back. Take off with Vic again. Get a nice, you know, 13-yard game. Make a manageable third down here. 
Third and three, he actually only rushes two, and I have enough time to wait, patience to hit my drag, hit off the sideline, go up, and hit Le'Veon Bell, possession catcher inside the 10. Now here I go ahead and put it on conservative. I'm going to run this clock out. Hopefully he doesn't get the ball back. But here we go. We go ahead and punch this in with Le'Veon Bell. We're getting a run on Dollar. Now, now it's 19 to nothing. Game pretty much in hand. First play out of the out of you know the kickoff. Here he goes. Roll out. I send a spy. Click on and pick it off. One of the underrated plays in Madden this year to be able to do that. Anticipate who you're going to get as you send. And you know I was able to do that. Click on. Get ready for him to throw the ball to the open receiver. And that ended the game. This game was a flood. It wasn't that close. The rest of the game is going to be closer. Here we go with a great play. You know. Right here, he rolls out. I send a spy. I know it's going to be right there. Click on Landon Collins. Come back and pick it off. And that ended the game. This first game was a flood. Get this to 200 likes. I'll post the next game right away. Thank y'all, man. Dude!